Biden shocked as EV makers can't sell EVs. President Joe Biden's ambitious plans for the EV market have hit a speed bump with automobile enthusiasts practically lining up, urging him to tap the brakes on those EV dreams. So what does this mean for the future of electric vehicles, and what effects will President Biden have on them? Let's dig in. Public opinion and electric vehicle manufacturers are rebelling against Biden's strong push for EV adoption among the general public. Despite Biden's assertion that EVs are the future, major automakers like Ford, GM, and Tesla are slashing prices, leading to a surplus of unsold EVs sitting on dealership lots. Adding to the complications, there are safety concerns. EVs are reportedly experiencing explosions and fires, putting owners and families at risk. This raises questions about the push to force EVs on the public. Is there a hidden agenda? A leaked consumer report highlights five fatal flaws kept secret from the public. Now, Joe Biden is in the middle of a tug of war with angry consumers and big car shots. GM, Ford, and Tesla are like, easy Joe, take a chill pill. They've seen something fishy and are warning of an epic crash in EV sales. Initially, Joe Biden had his hopes really high, envisioning bustling streets filled with silent and eco-friendly cars. But, surprise, surprise, things aren't going just the way he planned. It's more of a U-turn from Biden's hopeful expectations, and now consumers seem to be giving EVs the cold shoulder. So what's the effect of this unexpected twist on the economy? Well, brace yourself for impact because the economic toll is hefty. We're talking thousands of jobs hitting the unemployment line and a whopping $4 billion in financial setbacks. Despite Biden's enthusiastic efforts, consumers are pretty much sending EVs to the reject pile. That once shiny future Biden pictured with streets filled with quiet, eco-friendly rides now faces a healthy dose of skepticism. Let's talk real talk. Major automakers are in a bit of a pickle trying to sell their EVs. I'm talking big names here. Ford, GM, and yes, even the mighty Tesla. They're raising their hands, shouting from the rooftops that a chunk of their inventory is basically playing hide and seek in dealerships. Even GM, who had high hopes for their electric pickups, is finding them parked like statues on lots. In sales, they have taken a nosedive. Biden's team dropped the bomb, saying that by 2032, two out of every three new cars should be electric. But here's the reality check. We're not exactly geared up for that electric revolution just yet. Charging stations and public interest are like toddlers taking their first steps, wobbly and uncertain. Yet, Biden is out here cheerleading for electric cars like it's the halftime show. Truly, the electric car expectations isn't exactly popping off as planned. About 4,000 car dealers from every nook and cranny of the U.S. are hitting up Biden with a big SOS. They're basically shouting, hey, people aren't feeling the electric car vibes and we can't convince them to buy. Dealers, being the street smart sellers they are, know the market like the back of their hand. Despite Biden slipping $9 billion to Ford and putting some eyebrow raising restrictions on selling good old gas cars, the electric ones aren't exactly zooming off the shelves. Now that the initial electric vehicle buzz has cooled down and consumers are giving EVs the side eye, major car manufacturers are hitting the brakes, putting political leaders on notice. Ford and GM, the heavyweight contenders in the car business, are taking a step back from their electric dreams. Ford hit pause on their F-150 Lightning pickups because, well, nobody was biting. Meanwhile, General Motors is playing the delay game with releases like the Silverado EV, and they even ghosted a billion-dollar deal with Honda to whip up affordable electric cars under $30,000. GM's situation is even worse because their CEO, Mary Barra, is making some questionable moves. First, she said that affordable electric cars won't be profitable, so why bother making them? Then, despite a major market downturn, she's not willing to lower the prices on existing electric cars. And to make things even more complicated, some car manufacturers are playing both sides of the field. What many people might find surprising is that while car companies dazzle us with flashy ads showcasing their electric vehicles, there's a backstage saga unfolding. Publicly, they're all about promising us a future filled with sleek EVs. But behind closed doors, it's a different tune. They're like, hold your horses, government. Switching to EVs overnight? Not so practical. Take Ford, for instance. They were all gung-ho about a spanking new battery factory, but now they're taking a step back, maybe realizing it's not all rainbows and electric unicorns. 
GM2 is side-eyeing their goal of churning out hundreds of thousands of EVs, and even Tesla, the EV rock star, is hitting pause on a new EV plant in Mexico. Who saw that coming? And then there's Trump, the former Prez, not exactly doing the electric slide. He thinks electric cars are like those fancy gadgets. Expensive, impractical, and maybe a little too hip for the traditional auto scene. He's all about keeping things red, white, and blue, and has serious concerns about EVs shaking up the good old US car game. Now, let's dive into the political maze. The Biden crew is laying down the law with strict emissions rules, giving car manufacturers a nudge, or a shove, towards EVs. It's like they're saying, go green or go home. But hold up, is this a bit of political puppetry? Some folks think so. They're side-eyeing the administration, wondering if they're trying to play puppet master with the EV market. And guess what? The upcoming presidential election is like a giant lab experiment in this EV drama. Will voters choose gas guzzlers or electric dreams? As the US presidential elections approach, Biden is emphasizing his commitment to the environment. He's urging companies not to exceed a specific limit on emissions when selling cars, aiming to promote electric vehicles. The emission limit is set so low that meeting it is nearly impossible without opting for EVs. So essentially, he's encouraging people to consider buying relatively expensive EVs or, well, face the consequences. The situation has created a kind of electric storm for the public. Some individuals are trading in their EVs for hybrids, others are ditching their EVs altogether, and many are left puzzled by the skyrocketing prices of cars. Now, remember that consumer report I mentioned earlier? It sheds light on the downsides of EVs and the political pressures behind them. It serves as a cautionary note for those considering purchasing an EV. Why? Because EVs have their share of issues, starting with a big, scary word, reliability, or I should say, lack of it. Studies indicate that EVs have nearly 80% more repair problems compared to gas or hybrid cars. Yes, you heard that right, a whopping 80% more problems. Just imagine treating yourself to a shiny new EV, only to be bombarded with a range of unexpected issues, from battery blues to charging chaos, even deep to wallet-wounding repair bills. Imagine a little scratch on your EV's belly resulting in a staggering $60,000 repair bill. It's not just a car ding, it's practically a black hole for your bank account. Hold on, it gets even wilder. Picture a poor soul up in Canada, hit with a $50,000 quote just to swap out his Tesla's battery. At that rate, he might as well have traded his car for a small country. Crazy, huh? Now, let's talk about charging headaches. You buy an EV to go green, but what do you get? A car spending more time connected to a charger than hitting the road, winter rolls around and suddenly your EV acts like it's on strike. Range plummets faster than my phone's battery on a bad day, up to a 41% drop just because it's a bit chilly outside. And don't even get me started on charging stations. Half of them seem permanently out of order, and the other half are so jam-packed you think they're giving away freebies. So what's the result? EV owners are left stranded, shivering, and regretting the day they bid farewell to their trusty old gas guzzler. Now let's touch on the truly spine-chilling part. EVs catching fire. Remember Omar Iwan? He crashed his Tesla and boom, it becomes a furnace trapping him inside. And this isn't a one-time horror show. I mean, there are tales of Teslas spontaneously setting parking garages ablaze. So why are these EVs turning down to those high-powered lithium-ion batteries in electric cars? They're like ticking time bombs. When things go south, it's like a tiny volcano erupting. There's this process called thermal runaway where the battery heats up more and more, often ending in a fiery explosion. Add to that a bunch of software glitches plaguing EVs. Since these cars lean more on computers than good old mechanics, VW is sweating bullets with numerous recalls, and GM isn't far behind, especially with their not-so-popular Cadillac lyrics. Now, let's talk about cash. You'll need an extra $20,000 in your pocket to jump from a hybrid to an EV. And guess what? Even after shelling out that extra dough, you've got to clock a solid 60,000 miles before your investment starts paying off. It's like buying a money tree, but waiting ages for the first leaf to sprout. So if you're eyeing an EV, my two cents, wait it out. Stick with gas or hybrids for now. Sure, everyone wants to believe EVs are the next big thing, practical, safe, and with stamina. But reality's throwing some serious shade. Joe Biden's dealing with a few headaches, but the real heroes, the car makers, are hitting reverse and reviving combustion engines, which, surprise, are flying off the shelves. Now shift gears to the land of the rising sun. 
Japanese giants like Honda and Toyota are going all in on hybrids, skipping the EV frenzy. They're not just stopping there. Some are diving into alternative solutions like hydrogen and ammonia engines. The future seems like it's brewing with possibilities. But here's the million dollar question. Do you think these political leaders are pushing the whole EV drama excessively? Or are EVs no longer the future of automobiles? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section.